guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i have for you one of your guys faves when it comes to hauls you love to see what is new in zara but i am also working with a brand called vivaya on today's video of which i have selected four pairs of shoes and boots from their website and i'm going to style them up with my zara finds show them to you share them with you because if you're yet to come across Vivaya, it is such a beautiful brand. They have some really gorgeous styles and designs of footwear that I just think are super like timeless, minimal, chic. Um, but they're also really, really comfy, which is so important to me. I can be fussy when it comes to footwear. If it's going to be uncomfortable, I'm not going to wear it. I just doesn't work well for me. So yes, I've tried all of these on myself. Comfort is a big, big two thumbs up from me. Um, but also they're a real sustainable brand, real eco-conscious. And I do also have a discount code with them, which I will leave linked below, a link to their website along with the code, which is Freya15. Throughout kind of like Black Friday month, it's cyber time. You can get 20% off two pairs of shoes, 25% off three pairs and 30% off four. So happy shopping guys. Again, links and all the information that you will need will be in the description box below. I feel like without further ado, we should get into sharing them with you. These are called the Aria 5 in almond and black. And I also sized up to a 41. I'm kind of like in between sizes. They're all true to size. There's no need to size up is what I will say. Um, but yeah, this is in the almond and black. And I just think these, how timeless minimal classic are these in style i feel like i'm really lacking something like this in my wardrobe so um or my shoe drobe so love them the actual soles of them have like added cushions and not only the soles but also the back here so when i was talking extra comfort guys i am not lying they are just so comfortable yeah i can't emphasize enough the quality the softness of the fabric the added support and enhanced comfort is just second to none with these so yes looking forward to styling those up with some of the items that i've got um what a oh look at this as well thanks for helping our ocean and recycling more than six plastic water bottles preventing them from breaking into millions of microplastics and harming marine life so that's essentially how these are made these shoes are made how genius is that so i think that was my favorite slash first choice pair of shoes that i wanted to get these ones are similar they're called the julie 2.0 in beige and black so they're similar style but with an added heel now it's quite a like block heel so they are very very comfortable and it's got the added kind of detailing across this black bit um where the toe is it's also got the black trim here running along and then again if i just take out this packaging you'll be able to see as well the um insole how cushioned and comfortable that looks and feels the color is slightly different so these ones are more creamy i would say this one's more of like a beige if you can see the difference there I'd actually say these ones this color as well as obviously the fact that it's got a heel but these ones are a little dressier this is probably my second choice of shoe and these are called the sophia black jacquard water repellent shoe um which is amazing especially with weather we get in manchester these are lovely a nice smaller kind of kitten heel style boot of which i personally prefer because i'm kind of done with the really really high heels i'm not gonna lie especially when you're wearing trousers if you're wanting a boot with a pointed toe like so and a little heel like this you can't really tell what heel height it is so you can be super comfortable without the need for a really really tall heel so i love these they have like a really easy slip on feature which just makes them so easy to get in and out of then the last pair of shoes these are called the marcella boots this one has the zip up the back so again really easy to get in and out of super soft and flexible fabric that just makes them so comfy to wear and these ones have a kind of more square toe you can see it's more of like a ribbed fabric i'm gonna show you some of them styled up with the zara items though just so that you can get some ideas and see how i would personally style them up pinterest is always your best friend as well for styling um like tips and ideas and yeah let me share with you now some of the Zara bits that I have picked up. So firstly, Zara Home. I have actually got in here a couple pairs of curtains for our cinema room. So you may have seen this already on my video. I'm not sure yet. Just timings wise depends on 
when I get this video out and also the previous video that I'm filming where I'm putting these up when that comes out. So yes, these are just 100% linen curtains. Also from Zara Home, just before I move on to the Zara fashion items, I've got a couple of bits. They're re-diffusers, incredible. They just smell so strong. The one in our downstairs loo has virtually finished now. So I thought I would get a fresh new one. And this is part of their kind of Christmassy festive range in chimney. So a real smoky, it's got notes of moss, cedarwood and birch. A snowy day by the fireplace surrounded by the warmth of the crackling logs. How nice does that sound? Then I did also pick up these, which I thought for um, hanging decorations would be lovely. So, so nice. Not sure where I'm gonna put, like which tree I'm gonna put these ones on yet, but I definitely want a couple of little mini Polaroid prints. I'm thinking maybe the one in the kitchen, but it's just a little antique brass framed set of three hanging decorations. Now as for the fashion, I picked up firstly this blazer style jacket, which they did have matching trousers off. I don't think I've got them though. If I get to them, I'll show you them, but I don't think I, got the trousers um but yeah I got this one in a small and it's a really lightweight fabric so I personally am thinking this with probably the Vivaya boots maybe the thinner kitten heeled ones with like some leggings or even some leather leggings would be quite nice with this so this is just kind of done up just simple maybe just nothing underneath just like a bra or whatever so that you just wear it done up as more of like a shirt rather than like a jacket but really really nice quality lovely color as well it's like a really nice kind of um earthy green i also got this jacket of which very kind of like on trend at the minute these kind of cardigan jacket styles this one's very much a jacket though so i would just class it as a cropped jacket with these kind of like gold buttons and the double double pockets as well on the front. So I got this one in a medium. It's in a kind of tweed fabric, wool fabric. With this one again, I'm thinking either of the boots with leggings would be quite nice, or even with jeans and the Aria ones, the flats, or even the heel, do you know what? Any of them. Oh, have I just given myself a paper cut? You know when you feel it and you think, oh, did that actually cut me? Anyway, next up from Zara, I got this bomber style jacket. Has anyone been watching Big Brother lately? Is it just me or does Olivia have this jacket? Because I feel like she does. Um, or at least she wears one that's very similar. Although by the time you're watching this, is Big Brother over? It probably is, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, this is like a kind of light gray cropped bomber style jacket, really nice and soft. I was worried it was gonna be too itchy, but it's not at all. Plus it's lined on the inside anyway, so that wouldn't really be an issue. This one is in a medium and I love the color of it. Because of the fabric, it is one that I feel like you could even dress up a little bit as well. Then I also picked up a blazer because I am such a big fan of the Zara blazers. I feel like some of my timeless classic blazers that I wear over and over and over are all Zara. So I decided to go for this color. I do have a khaki green, whereas this one's more of like a dark teal gray almost and this one is in a small i do find that a lot of their blazers are already oversized so yeah i went for the small just take the little tissues off the buttons plenty of outfit options for that and even if you want to wear it more casually with flats or dress it up with heels um, loads of options with that one. Okay, this is something a bit different for me. I'm, it's gonna be hard to show you, but it is a blouse and it's in like a satiny kind of fabric in black. So I thought it would be really nice for the festive season. You'll see what it looks like on, but anyway, it's kind of like an asymmetric one shoulder, really, really soft fabric. It's nice to have the option of a nice top. That's definitely one area that I always feel like I'm lacking in whenever I'm going out or if I've got an event or something, especially if it's in the evening. I think, yeah, wide leg pants and a nice top, I'm thinking, or jeans and a nice top. I always struggle with the nice top option. Okay, next up, we've got this huge box now of which the majority of it is taken up by this. This chunky vest, Borg, cozy, super, super cozy gilet, which I just, I saw this in store actually, and it was on a day that it was just so busy, the queues are huge, and I thought for one item, I'm not gonna bother queuing but I'll take a picture of the code and I'll order it online. So yeah, this was the first thing out of everything that went in my basket. Um, I've seen quite a few girls style it up and they just look so cool, but so cozy as well. So even just with a plain long black sleeve top underneath this, throw this on, 
Christmas markets. Hot chocolate in hand. Leggings, the boots, probably the chunky heeled boots, the Marcella ones, I would probably go for with this. Again, these were two other things that I saw in store, took pictures of the label of, and um, added straight to my basket when I got home. So it's like, a, this first one's like a, kind of like a wax jacket. They had extra small to small, which is the one I went for, or medium to large. So generally with those kind of things, Zara, it's usually already quite oversized. So I went for the smaller option. Um, but yeah, it's just a, just hit myself in the head with the tree. Um, it's just a kind of khaki, really dark khaki, almost like barber style wax jacket, but a really long one. Winter walks when it's really muddy, wet and cold. It's got a hood on it as well. I'm thinking that one might be my new best friend. But I did also pick up two others. This one is more of like a brighter, well, it's not brighter, but if you look at this one in comparison, this one's quite greeny. Um, so yeah, anyway, this one's a shorter jacket as well, much, much shorter. And it's got the corded collar as well. So again, probably just a case of like winter boots with this. Very country style, this jacket. In a small, I got this one. You know what you guys think? Because I definitely don't need to keep all of these because I have another jacket. <laughs> Very similar. This one is far more lightweight. It's not that wax kind of fabric, so it doesn't feel quite as durable, but I got it in a small, and it's quite oversized, but it does have this like cinch in part on the waist that you can really kind of cinch in your waist if you wanted to, and it's also got the gathered bit at the bottom. So although it's an oversized boxier fit, I thought I'm gonna go for a small anyway, because uh, it is, I guess, designed to be a little bit more fitted around the waist if you wanted that look. Uh, and then what else we've we got? We've got this cozy cardigan. Love a cardigan this year. Definitely been wearing them more than I ever have before. And this one is an alpaca and wool blend. It's also in a medium. It's also a really lovely colour. Tortoiseshell buttons. It's quite cropped, so I would say, just with jeans, probably that one. Jeans and maybe the flat... Um, Aria, and then also paired with this skirt, which is beautiful. How nice is this? Oh, it's even got a little festive days label. <gasps> so exciting, but in a small, I thought this would be good for the party season. It's got gathered bits on the sides, otherwise just a little zip, hidden zip on the side there. And a nice midi length, no slits or anything, I don't think, no. So again, perfect for little jumpers or little cardigans paired with that one. The boots would work quite nicely with the, uh, you know, the small heeled ones, they could look quite nice. And then I also picked up this, these had matching joggers. I think they were like a wide leg jogger. I didn't go for them, I just went for the bomber style zip up. It's not a hoodie, but you know, like, kind of bomber style sweatshirt, super soft and they're like everyday sweater fabric where it's really, really cozy on the inside. It's got this line piped detail here on the side and also it runs across the sleeve. So just added something, you know, a little interest to otherwise just a standard um, sweatshirt, zip up sweatshirt. But then I did also go for one of their basics. This one, it's got like a real, oh wow, it's quite short sleeves. Oh, okay, this is the matching. Yeah, this is a matching set, a co set, of which this is more, it's not long sleeved, it's more of like a long t-shirt. And it's also got the distressing on the edge, which I just think it makes it look a bit more designer, a bit more, um, more expensive and um, but to go with it i got the matching joggers and let me just see what size i got the bomber in because i didn't tell you the skirt i got in a small the bomber sweatshirt zip up in a medium and then with this set i went for a medium in the top and these were a lot of the size of these were sold out so hopefully they've been restocked by the time you're watching because they had other colors as well um this the bottoms are in a small i picked them up in so there you go on me so you can see what they look like on me you know what the sizing is cuffed bottoms and again a little bit of that distressing just along all the edges also like a washed color I just love loungewear at this time of the year for like those cozy at home days but yeah that is everything that i have got from zara recently thank you once again to vivaya for very kindly working with me and allowing me to style up some of your shoes from your website i had such a lovely experience 
on their website so I would highly recommend it to you guys to have a look use that discount code whilst it's on because it does end soon ends on the 30th so Freya 15 to get those offers and I will leave them linked below thanks to them thanks to you guys for watching enjoy the rest of your day and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys